Hi my loves! Welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscription button. Hit that notification bell. Become a part of the Glam Life family. Um, so today we have my Holy Grails from 2017 that I will not be repurchasing in 2018. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy, but why? Because these items are not cruelty free. You get to join me on my journey in 2018 to find dupes for my holy grails that I will not be repurchasing. If you want to see what those items are, just keep watching. Alright y'all, I just don't even know where to start <laughs> because if you watch my 2000, 2017 Holy Grail video, there was a lot of items in there that I just love and adore. Um, <laughs> but the items in here, some of them I'm not sure how I'm going to live without. <laughs> I'm so mad. But anyway, I will not repurchase these items. Once they run out, it's a wrap and I will be on the hunt for a dupe. So let's get started. The first is the one and only drugstore powder that I like. <laughs> um, but Maybelline, unfortunately, is not cruelty free. So I can't repurchase it. So every other loose powder that I've enjoyed is expensive. So I'm on the hunt for that drugstore powder that is cruelty free. But the Maybelline Fit Me. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful drugstore powder that I now have to find a replacement for. <laughs> that is so sad. Okay, next is my MAC Prep and Prime, y'all. MAC is not cruelty free. And this is my shit. <laughs> like... I go through probably a bottle every couple of months. This is wonderful to melt. It's not a setting spray, but it melts the powders together so you don't have that powder cake face. It's also great to wet your eyeshadows to give them that extra pop, that extra intensity. Um, I have heard there is a Milani spray that they say is similar to the MAC. So I will be purchasing that the next time I go to the drugstore. And we'll see, because as you can tell, this is about done. <laughs> um, okay, the next thing that is not cruelty free is Luna, I, my Foreo. I, I'm so sad. <laughs> I use this every night to wash my face. Now, the good news is, this is not something that's going to run out, but at some point I'm going to need to replace it. So once that need comes, I'll have to find a dupe. If this, you turn it on, it massages your skin as you clean it. It's got these um, silicone bristles that really deep clean your skin. I love this. So um, once it's dead, I got to replace it. Okay, the next thing that I built, this is another Maybelline product, but it's the Age Rewind um, Concealer. I have two. I have one in light and one in brightener. These are the only drugstore concealers I have found that I love. I use the brightener every day with my shape tape. So, Maybelline's really <sighs> hurt my soul. <laughs> But I am now on the hunt for a good drugstore concealer, particularly, 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 particularly <laughs> the brightening one because, like I said, I mix this with my shape tape every single day. <laughs> okay, next on my list, Benefit is not cruelty free, and I love and adore their Quickie Contour Stick. It is the most amazing, perfect color to contour out my cheekbones. It blends beautifully. Oh my gosh, I I love this. I have already purchased two products um, that I'm going to try out, but the colors, the blendability, 
so far um, is not my concern. What I'm finding when I go to find other, I've, so I purchased a Wet n Wild and a Julep contour stick. And they're both cruelty free, which is great. But I can't find a dupe for the color. <laughs> it is just this, oh, I don't even know, it's almost like a, the color of a cappuccino. It's the color of a cappuccino. And it's the most beautiful contour color. So the colors that I've purchased from Julep and Wet n Wild are not the same colors. The formulas are fine, but I really want to find a dupe for this exact color. Um, next, we have NARS. Ah! NARS is not cruelty free. And this is one of my holy grail palettes. I've mentioned this in several videos. I just think the blushes are beautiful. This is a great um, bronzing shade. It's their Hula Bronzer. It's iconic. And that's great for contouring uh, my cheekbones if I want a powder contour. So, I'm so upset. I think it will be quite some time before I run out of the, these pans. But, um, nonetheless, I'm going to have to, I go to these cheek colors a lot. So, I'm going to have to find a lot of replacements to replace this palette. And then, of course, if you are a makeup fan, a makeup guru, if you watch YouTube, you know that the NARS Orgasm Blush... It's iconic. It is one of my favorite, favorite blushes. Um, I've already hit pan, as you can tell. So this will be running out soon. I have been told there is a Milani dupe, so I'm going to purchase that and try it out and see. But NARS, you're killing me <laughs> because so much of my face products come from NARS. Um, and this... Oh! This is an amazing blush. It's it's pinky but peachy, and then it has flecks of gold in it. It's truly unique. I, I, I don't know how Milani could have recreated it, but we're going to try that out. Um, okay, the last thing on my list. Actually, hold that thought. <laughs> There are three other items on my list. One, I, I thought I brought it in here, but I didn't. So, it's my YSL All Hours Foundation. Top foundation of 2017. Loved that foundation. I mean, I just, if you watch my top five foundations, you know that I was obsessed with it. I've used it in some videos. Love that foundation. YSL is not cruelty free, so I have to find a replacement for it. But also, in doing some research on the foundations, um, I did discover that the YSL foundation has, I think it's the number two ingredient, don't quote me on that, but look at the ingredient list, has an extreme amount of alcohol, which is really bad for your skin as well. So, I'm almost glad to replace that, even though I adored the formula, I don't want to use anything that's damaging on my skin. So if that one is, I'm just going to stop using it all together. So I won't continue using that one at all. Which brings me to Glam Glow is not cruelty free. And they make some of my favorite Holy Grail masks. Um, this is the Gravity Mud. They also make a brightening mask that is amazing. Um, if you've seen me on Snapchat or Instagram, it's the mask that I put on that's silver. This one is the gold one, but it's the same mask. Um, but another thing, see, I've been doing research. We've got to start researching the products that we use, guys, <laughs> because this is a firming treatment, and I'm in love with it. I've used it for probably two years. You peel the mask off, and your face feels so firm. Well, guess what? The number two ingredient in this mask is alcohol. Alcohol. So in reality, it's not firming our skin. It's drying our skin out, giving the illusion that it's tighter when actually it's just drier. So it's actually doing damage to our skin 
as opposed to what we use a mask for, which is to put nutrients and goodness into our skin. So Glam Glow, not only will I not be repurchasing you, but I will not be continuing to use this mask. All right, this one breaks my heart more than any other product. And, you know, I have some, some tears laying here on the floor. I've got <laughs> little pieces of my heart laying everywhere. But if you are, if you've been a subscriber to my channel, you know that I discovered what I claim to be the world's most perfect lippy. That was my Pat, Pat McGrath Liquid Lust lipsticks. These are probably the most I've ever dropped on some lippies. They're expensive, but the formula is amazing. Like, oh my gosh, but Pat McGrath is not cruelty free. I, these two colors, um, Divine and Possessed, I have used these probably more than any other lip product the past two or three months. Like, I have, ah, <laughs> the formula is perfect. The colors are perfect. They're, uh, I'm so sad. So, if you know of a dupe for Pat McGrath, hook a sister up and leave it in the comments below. But, you hurt my soul. You hurt my soul, Pat McGrath. You hurt my soul. And I had some Pat McGrath eyeshadow palettes in my shopping cart on Sephora that I had to just remove. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this, this, this definitely broke my, broke my heart. So, those were my 2017 Holy Grails that I will not be repurchasing in 2018. If you know of a dupe for any of these, please let me know. I would be eternally, eternally grateful. Uh, but if you don't know, follow me on my journey. You got to subscribe to do that. Hit that notification bell. <laughs> follow me on my journey while I search for dupes for these amazing products. <laughs> Until next time, my loves.